In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP OfficeJet Pro 8135E or many other models to your PC Windows computer. I'll then show you how to print and also how to scan using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started right away. First step is to connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network. So let's go on the screen over here. Click on the menu. Then go down. Select settings. Network. Select the first one, Wi-Fi. Make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on, so this is blue. And click on Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. Click Start. It will search for all the Wi-Fi networks around you and it will provide you a list with them. Select your Wi-Fi network, the one from your house or at the office. Simply click on it. And by the way, uh, you could scroll up and down. It's not just two networks like some people may believe because only two of them are showing up. You can go down and maybe yours is down below. I'll click on mine, click over here, and now type the password of your Wi-Fi. Once the password is typed, you're going to click over here on this small keyboard and um, click on Submit. Then OK. Wait a few seconds. And you're going to have this message, connection successful. Once your printer is done connecting to your Wi-Fi network, we need to go on your PC. So on the PC, we need to go and select the Windows icon. If you have Windows 11 like this over here, you'll find it here. If you have an older version, it could be on this corner. So select the Windows logo and then over here. And then we need to select settings and select Bluetooth and devices and select printers and scanners. Select Add Device. Select your HP printer once it's appearing in this list by clicking Add Device. At the end, you should see your HP Office Jet with the name, uh, with the inscription ready down below. Let me show you how to print using your PC. So open any file you would like to print, then select the print icon. Make sure under printer, your HP printer is the one that is selected. This is it. I'll click on it. And how many copies you want? Do you want a portrait of a landscape? Do you want to print all the pages of this document or just certain of them? color or black and white and do you want to print on one side or both sides of the paper once you're ready press print extend this tray and wait here we go now let me show you how to scan because this printer has two different scanners so the first scanner is the top document feeder located on the top you need to push these on the side Take your stack of paper, put it facing up with the top part towards the left, glide it in, okay, all the way in. If you want to use the normal scanner, normal because most people are used to this one, you simply need to put your paper facing down with the top part towards the left and align the corner of the scanner with the corner of the paper, like this. Then close the scan lid. But today I won't use this one. It was just to demonstrate you how to place your paper. Most PC computer these days come with the scan app already included. So you need to go in the search bar here and type scan. You're going to find the scan app. If your PC does not have it, this is made by Microsoft, by the way, you need to go on the Microsoft Windows Store and search for the scan app made by Microsoft. All right, once you open the app under scanner, select your printer. So I'll select my OfficeJet. And then 
which kind and then the source so if you have put your paper like i just did on the top document feeder select feeder if you have put them on the scan bed select flat bed i'll select feeder file type i want a pdf file so i'll select pdf but if you want it to be a jpeg select jpeg click on show more you can select if you want in color or black and white the resolution so over here if you're scanning text leave it to 200 if you're scanning some pictures stuff like that 300 will give you better results and then you have page size i'll leave it i'll select letter because this is letter size and the last option here save file to you need to select in which folder on your pc you want this to go so i'll leave it to desktop and i'll press the scan button and since i have the top document feeder enabled it will take each page one by one and they will exit here make sure this is deployed depending how many pages you have it may take more time at the end you're gonna get a notification that it has been scanned go on the folder this is my desktop and your scan will be there ready for you to share it or to do whatever you want to do with it so thanks for watching i hope my video was helpful if so please leave a like comment down below subscribe and i'll see you in the next video